Hi everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this little jacket and matching little hat. It's for babies between 3 and 6 months old. You can make it for boys and girls. The little jacket you can make it from a newborn baby and up to 12 months. And the little hat here you can make it for any size, any age. In the information box below I'll go ahead and leave some information for those sizes. And as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thanks so much for your support. Now this little jacket and hat, I made it to match the little blanket that I showed you already in my channel. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave the link to that tutorial. For the little jacket and the little hat, this is the yarn that I'm going to use. It's Premier Bamboo Joy. This is a light number three yarn. You can also use DK weight or a ply. Now in total, I used 120 grams for the little jacket, 85 grams in white, and 35 grams in yellow. For the little hat, I used 30 grams in total, 25 grams in yellow, and 5 grams in white. Now, I hope you like this video, and thanks so much for your support. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to crochet the little cardigan sweater, and then towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to crochet the matching little hat. Now, for the little hat and the cardigan sweater, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter hook with this light number three yarn. You can also use any DK weight yarn or a ply. Now, to begin, I have 53 chains. This chain here, without stretching or anything, is measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Just continue. Continue. So here, to begin with the first row into the second chain from the hook, one, two, into this second chain here, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Into the next chain, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make one single crochet on each chain. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 52 single crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now these two chains from here on do not count. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now to begin the second row, I'm going to make three double crochets and then into the fourth single crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three. Into the next, make two double crochets. One and two. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this second row. You're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Now, continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second row here at the end. I finished by making these last four double crochets. At the end of this second row, I have 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make four double crochets. Then into the next, I'm going to make two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four. Now into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. You're going to make four double crochets and into the next two. Four, two, four, two, until you finish this third row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the third row. At the end of this third row, I have 76 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, until you finish this fourth row. 
at the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 88 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I have 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row. I'm going to make three double crochets, then two, three, two, three, two, until I finish the row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, now into the next, make two double crochets. One more time, make three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. So continue making three double crochets, then two, three, two, to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the fifth row. At the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 109 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now for the sixth row, we're going to make four double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make the first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four double crochets. And into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. You're going to make four double crochets, then two all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I finished the sixth row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 130 double crochets. Now here at the end, I cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. For the seventh row, we're going to turn here. I'm going to use the second color here, go on top of the first double crochet, grab a loop here, bring it through. So here, chain two. Remember the two chains never count. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the second one, work a front post double crochet. Into the next one, back post double crochet. Into the next front post double crochet. And into the next back post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue here for this seventh row just making front post and back post double crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row where I did front post and back post double crochets. Now here at the end, I finished by making a double crochet on top of the last double crochet. I have a total of 130 stitches. Now here at the end, I cut my yarn and I'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop. Now for row eight, I'm going to use the white yarn again we're going to turn this and we're going to go on top of the last double crochet that i did for row seven grab a loop here now chain two on top of this same stitch here make a double crochet now here i'm going to make three double crochets then i'm going to make two let me show you i have one two three into the next make two one and two again make three double crochets one two three and into the next two this is how we're going to continue here for this eighth row i'll meet you at the end i finished making the eighth row here at the end of the eighth row i finished with two double crochets i have a total of 162 double crochets at the end of the eighth row and the yoke is done now the yoke it's measuring about nine centimeters which is about 3.5 inches now we're going to divide the sleeves in the next row so here i want you to place some stitch markers we have a total of 162 stitches for each one of the front panels we're we're going to mark 24 stitches for the sleeves mark 33 stitches and for the back side 48 stitches now this is going to be the first row because i'm going to divide the sleeves and i always like to start counting rows when i divide the sleeves that way i can tell you how many rows i do from here on now let's see here 
I'm going to, I forgot to mention, I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. So we're going to turn this over like this. This here is the wrong side. This here is the right side of the yoke. So turn this over. We're going to go on top of the last double crochet. And again, for this, I'm going to switch to this yellow color here. I'm going to bring a loop through and I am going to chain two. One, two. Now on top of this first double crochet here, make a double crochet. And then we're going to work into the second double crochet here, work a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet and this is how I'm going to work these 24 stitches for this front panel so continue I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the first sleeve I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for this first front panel I have 24 stitches now my last stitch here is a front post double crochet to divide the first sleeve chain four now we're going to skip 33 double crochets, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. And into the first double crochet after the stitch marker, this one here, I'm going to make a double crochet. And here's the first sleeve. If you want to add more chains here under the sleeve to add to the uh, chest measurement, you can. The only thing is that make sure that when you finish this first row, it's in multiples of four. Now, to continue here, we're going to go into the next stitch here for the back side and work a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on. This is how you're going to continue here for the back side until you come to the next stitch marker. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve. I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for the back side. Now I have 48 stitches here for the back side. To divide the second sleeve, chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip these 33 double crochets for the second sleeve and into the double crochet after the stitch marker here I'm going to make a front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue along for the second front panel and work one front post and back post double crochet on each one of these remaining stitches continue I will meet you at the end of this first row I finished the second front panel now here at the end of this first row at the end on top of the last double crochet I finished by making a double crochet then I cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this row here is done now at the end of this row I have a total of 96 double crochets I have 24 and 24 double crochets for each one of the front panels and for the back side I have 48 plus Eight chains four chains under each sleeve now to continue we're going to turn this over from here on this is going to be the right side and this is going to be the wrong side now to continue here here's where I finished I'm going to go on top of this first double crochet right here which is the last one that I did in row one I'm going to switch back to the original color here the main color which is the white color and I'm going to chain three one, two, three. Now these three chains here counts as a double crochet from here on. Now here we're going to begin our pattern. I'm going to skip three double crochets counting from the beginning. One, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet here I'm going to make a fan. Each one of these fans is going to consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet, make your second fan. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your third fan. This is how I'm going to continue for this second row. You skip three and into the fourth you make a fan. And that's all. Continue for this second row. I will meet you here at the end. 
I'm here at the end of this second row. Now up to here, this is my last fan. I have 25 fans. To finish here, I'm going to skip three double crochets and on top of the last one, I'm going to make a double crochet. And here's the second row. Now for the third row, I'm going to chain three and turn. Now, this third row is actually the second row for the pattern. This pattern consists of two rows. The first row is this row that I just showed you where we do the fans, and then this next row that I'm going to show you, it's what we're going to repeat from here on. So for the third row, we have the first fan, we have four double crochets. Into the second double crochet here, make a front post double crochet. And inside the chain one space, make a V-stitch a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and into the third double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Again, we have the second fan, work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, make a V-stitch inside the chain one space of this fan, and then a front post double crochet. And this is all we're going to do here for this third row, and actually these are the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on. And this is how it looks on the wrong side, and here is the right side. Continue like this for this third row, I'll meet you at the end. Now here at the end, you always go into the second chain and make a double crochet. And here is the third row. For the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now as I mentioned, from here on, these are the two rows that we repeat. In the fourth row, I need to make the row of fans. So inside each one of the chain spaces of each fan here, you're going to make a fan again. Like this. And then inside the next, a fan. Here we're doing the same thing we did in the second row. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I will meet you there. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. This is where we do the row of fans. Now, at the end of every row from here on, we're always going to have 25 fans. To finish each row, you're always going into the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. Now, for row five, we're going to chain three and turn. In the fifth row, we make the row where we do the front post double crochets, and these are the two rows that we repeat. So, here we have the four double crochets into the second double crochet, make a front post double crochet into the chain space, make a V-stitch. And then work a front post double crochet into the third double crochet. And this is all we have to do, just repeat these two rows from here on. Very easy stitch pattern. Now continue, finish this row. Now I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but all we're going to do is just repeat these two rows. Continue watching, I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. I finished this part, I did a total of 12 rows here of this pattern, including the first row where we divided the sleeves, I have 13 rows. My last row here, the 12th row, was worked on the wrong side, and it was the row where we do the front post double crochets. Now, this part here is measuring from the top of the neckline here to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. Now, I'm going to make a couple more rows here at the bottom, and I'm going to work front post and back post double crochets, just like we did here. Now, for row 14, this is what we're going to do. Chain three, turn. Now into each one of these, let's see, fans into the chain one space, make two double crochets. Now in the middle between the fans right here, just insert your hook there and make two double crochets. Again, into the chain one space of the next fan, make two double crochets. And in the middle between the fans, make two double crochets. That's all I'm going to do. So continue for this 14th row, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this 14th row, I have 100 double crochets. Now here at the end, all I did was just make my last double crochet, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Now for the first row here at the bottom of the sweater, this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn this here like this, and I'm going to change yarn color here, so I'm going to go on top of the last double crochet, I'm going to grab a loop here, and I'm going to chain three. 
one, two, three. Now we have these double crochets. We're going to work front post and back post double crochet. So beginning into the first double crochet here, make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on. Continue like this to the end of this first row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did front post and back post double crochets. To finish here into the second chain, insert your hook and make a double crochet. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to repeat the same thing. Into this next double crochet, make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet and so on here we're just making the same thing continue like this to the end of this second row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the second row now to finish here i'm going to work a back post double crochet and then into the second chain here at the end make a double crochet I'm only going to do two rows here, a front post and back post double crochets, but if you want to make this part here longer, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this because now I'm going to continue along this front panel. This here is the left front panel facing me, so it's the left front panel. I am going to start right here and I'm going to continue with this yellow color. I'm going to chain one and into this last double crochet that I did, make two single crochets now the next row here we have chains at the end make one now we have a double crochet here at this end make two and then one two one make sure that these single crochets are nice and loose and then two again one and then two and so on continue like this until you come here to the top of the neckline I will meet you here and I'll tell you how many single crochets I have for this front panel I finished making these single crochets for this first front panel I have 37 single crochets now make sure that you don't make too many single crochets here and when you do the other side make sure that you make the same number of single crochets for me I have 37 for this first row now for the second row chain one and turn now here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next single crochet, work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet. Make sure that these half double crochets are nice and loose. Into the next, I did a back post, now front post, back post, half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on continue I'll meet you here at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row this is where I did front post and back post half double crochets now don't worry about these ends here once this part here is done we can hide our ends here into the first row of single crochets and um, if I remember at the end, I'll show you how I do that. So here at the end of the second row, I finished by making a half double crochet into the last stitch. Now for row three, chain one and turn. And here we're just going to work a half double crochet on top of the last one or the first one here on this side and then work a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on for this third row We're just repeating the same thing continue like this i will meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next i finished making this third row here at the end i just made my last half double crochet on top of the last stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and this front panel here is done now i'm going to show you how i hide my ends many of you have commented in my videos how do i hide all my ends so let me show you here now this is the needle that I use it's very long and skinny so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this hole here 
and now I'm going to find the row of single crochets. I can either go down or I can go up. Let's see, I have a lot of ends here on this side and I don't have too many down here, so I'm just going to go down instead. So I'm just going to go into this row of single crochets here, right along the very edge, and just hide this end through that row. Now pull this here, pull. Now I'm going to go back up a couple stitches here in the same way that I came down. And now pull again. And now I can cut my end here and this end is done. And that's how I hide my end. So I just need to do the rest. So I just thought I showed you that part. Now we're going to go here to this other front panel and do exactly the same thing. The only thing is that we're going to start up here. Now before I show you this next front panel, one thing, I did not add any buttonholes. This little jacket here is a unisex little jacket. You can make it for boys or girls. Um, if you're making it for girl, this is where the buttonholes would go. I did not make any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows are big enough for buttons to fit through. You can use 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size buttons. Continue watching. I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use for my little sweater. So just thought I'd let you know that. And if you're making it for boys, then it's the opposite. For girls, buttonholes go on the right side. For boys, go on the left side. So now let me show you here how to do the uh, other side here. I'm going to use the yellow yarn, grab a loop here. Now we're going to start on top of this chain row right there to that chain. Grab a loop here, chain one, and make a single crochet into the same stitch here. Don't worry, this here is open. I'm just going to pull my yarn there and that closes. Now into the next row, the row single crochets, make one, that's what I did, and then we're going to do one, and then two, then one, and two. The important thing here is that you make the same number of single crochets so that you have the same number of single crochets as you did for the first row. For me, I had 37, so I'll make sure to have 37 single crochets here at the end. Then I'm going to chain one, turn, and then work front post and back post half double crochets till I come here to the top. Then for the third row, chain one, turn, and then work your way down, making front post and back post half double crochets, just like we did here for this side. And you're always going to end with the same number of stitches. For me, it's 37. So continue, finish this second front panel. I'll come back and show you how to do the sleeves. I finished making the second front panel. Now this part here is done. Now what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side. So I'm going to show you here what you need to do. We're going to go right under the sleeve here and we're going to turn this. This here facing me would be the right sleeve. So I'm going to go right here. And this row, I'm going to work from the wrong side out. I'm going to continue this row the second row front post and back post double crochets that we did in this uh, yellow color. So here the important thing is that you follow the same pattern, front post and back post double crochets. But before we do that, to start here, I need to go right under the sleeve. This is where we have those four chains that we added when dividing the sleeves. So insert your hook into that chain four space and grab a loop here, chain one, and into this same space here, make a double crochet. Now, once I finish this first row here all around, I want to make sure I have a multiple of four. So I want to have 40 stitches at the end of this row. Remember for the sleeves, we have 33. So I need to add six stitches uh, for this part here. So here's the first one. The next one I'm going to add right here. This is that chain. Uh, where we did this fan. So you can either go into the space here. I'm going to go into the space there and make a double crochet. And then I have this double crochet, which is the double crochet that we did to divide the sleeves. It's, this here is the last stitch. So here into this space, make two double crochets. So now I have four double crochets here. Then we have the next 
33 stitches for this leaf. Now, the important thing here is for you to look at this row and see how the pattern goes. This is a front post, back post, front post, back post. So the next stitch, the first stitch out of these 33, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. Now, if I remember correctly for this side, it's going to be a back post the first stitch. So just look at the pattern, see how it goes and continue with that. The next one, back post double crochet, next one, front post double crochet, and so on. Now continue all around the sleeves, just making front post and back post double crochets. I will meet you right here on this last double crochet to show you how we're going to finish this first row for the first sleeve. I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row. Now up to here, I have 37 double crochets. This here was the last double crochet out of the 33 that we left for the sleeve. Here, I need to add three more stitches so that at the end of this row, I have 40 stitches, which is multiples of four. So insert your hook here into this double crochet space and make two double crochets. Now the next one, or the last one, I'm going to do it right here. This is where we have this fan. You can either go on top or in between the two double crochets there and make your last double crochet. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. So this row here is done. Now for the next row, we're going to work this row from the right side. So here we're going to begin our pattern and I'm going to use this white yarn. Now go on top of the same stitch that we joined, which is the first double crochet, grab a loop here and chain three. One, two, three. Now these three chains here counts as one double crochet. And we're always going to begin each row with these three chains. So let me show you here. Here we're going to skip three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Now skip again, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Remember these fans consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And that's all we're going to do here for this second row. Skip three, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your fan. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine fans. Now to finish here, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. There. Now chain three and turn. Now for the third row, here we're going to make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet. Inside the chain space, make a V-stitch. And then front post double crochet. And then same thing on each one of these fans. Front post double crochet, V-stitch, double crochet or front post double crochet continue like this all around i'll meet you at the end of this third row i'm here at the end of this third row now to finish this row here go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the third row i have nine fans we're always going to have nine fans and we are going to repeat these two rows from here on so to start you off on the fourth row chain three and turn now for this fourth row, we have to do the row of fans. So go into the chain space of the first fan and make your first fan. Same thing into the next and so on. Now to finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning into the third chain with a slip stitch, chain three turn and then repeat this row that we just did, the row where we do front post double crochets, and that's how we're going to continue for the sleeve. Now, I'm going to do a total of, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 rows here of the pattern for the sleeves, and then we're going to shape the bottom here of the sleeve. So continue, finish these 12 rows, then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
I finished making these 12 rows here for this pattern, including the first row, I have 13 rows. Now here at the end, I joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain three and turned. Now here, what I'm going to do is inside each one of the fans into the chain one spaces here, I'm going to make two double crochets. Now in the middle between the fans, make one double crochet. And this is how we're going to continue all around two double crochets into the chain one space of each fans and one double crochet in the middle between the fans continue like this to the end of the 14th row i'll meet you at the end i finished row 14 i have 27 double crochets including these three chains here at the beginning now to finish i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop now for the cuff we're going to do two rows of front post and back post half double crochets so to begin here we're going to go into this first double crochet so right on top grab a loop here with the yellow color chain one and right into the same stitch this double crochet make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochets this is how we're going to continue front post and back post half double crochets i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row for the cuff my last stitch here is into this chain three and i did a front post double crochet to finish the row go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row chain one and then just repeat the same thing this first stitch here is a front post half double crochet so make a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet front post back post and so on continue finish this row which is the last row here then just join to the beginning cut your yarn pass your yarn through that last loop and then i'll come back and show you the finished sleeve we finish making the sleeve here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is done and this is how it looks continue watching i'll give you the final measurement once the little jacket here is done when you do this side you're going to do it exactly in the same way as i showed you here with the exception of the first row as i explained it when i was making this uh, first row here in yellow now what i'm going to do next here is the neckline so here we're going to start on this side facing me this will be the left side so we're going to go right here to this front panel i'm going to go into this row here at the end i'm going to insert my hook there grab a loop with this yellow yarn chain one and then make a half double crochet here half double crochet into the next row half double crochet into the row single crochets and now in between these single crochets along the neckline here make a half double crochet and we're going to go right in the middle of two stitches not on top just in between two stitches like this make a half double crochet continue like this all around i will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next i finished this first row here for the neckline i have a total of 58 half double crochets now what i'm going to do next is front post and back post half double crochets so to do this here i'm going to chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet here make a half double crochet into the next work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on this is how i'm going to continue for this second row make sure that these half double crochets are nice and loose So continue, finish this row. 
I finished making this last row all around the neckline. This is how it looks. Here at the end, I just did my last half double crochet, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. I already hid my ends here on the inside. And I also went ahead and attached my buttons. Now these buttons here are 13 millimeter size, but you can use 11, 12, or even 13 like I did here. And I only added three because that's all I had. I purchased these buttons from Hobby Lobby, and you can certainly add more buttons, but that's all I had, and I think it looks nice as well now this little jacket is all done continue watching i will give you the final size measurements at the end because what i'm going to do next is i'm going to show you how to make a little beanie hat to match this little set remember that i did this to match this baby blanket that i already showed you in the information box below you'll find the tutorial for this baby blanket now continue watching um, to see the little hat and then i'll come back and give you the final measurements Okay, to crochet this little hat, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this number three yarn. This is the yarn of brand that I'm using. It's Premier Bamboo Joy. This is a light number three yarn. Now the little hat that I'm going to make in the tutorial is for babies between three and six months old, but you can make it for any size, any age, using any yarn weight with any hook size. In the information box below, I'm going to leave you some standard size measurements, such as the width of the crown and the length of the hat, so be sure to check that out. So here, to begin, the first thing that we're going to do is a magic circle. So hold the yarn like this and wrap it around two fingers, right here where the yarn joins, hold it, and insert your hook and grab a loop and here's the magic circle now here we're going to chain two and inside this circle now we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets like this that's one two three here we're going to start with the crown and for three to six months the width of the crown needs to be about five inches. So we're going to start with 12 double crochets and then we're going to increase our circle until it measures about five inches. So here, this is going to be the first row finish and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets. Now just pull this end here and this hole is going to close. Once the hat is done, we can just weave this all around. That way this part doesn't open. Now to finish here, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row with 12 double crochets. Now for the second row here, we're going to chain two. And in this row, we're going to make two double crochets on each one of these double crochets. So beginning into the same stitch we joined, make two double crochets then two double crochets into the next, two double crochets into the next, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for the second row, just making two double crochets on each double crochet. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 24 double crochets. Continue, finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the second row, I have 24 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. And in this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two double crochets, then one, two, one, two, one, all around. Beginning into the same stitch we join, which is the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Into the next, make one. Into the next, make two. into the next make one and into the next make two this is how we're going to continue all around at the end of this third row you're going to have 36 double crochets i'm here at the end of this third row i have a total of 36 double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the fourth row i'm going to chain two in this row, I'm going to make two, then one, one, two, one, one, and so on. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now into the next two, make one. Into the next one, make two. Okay. 
and that's all you're going to do for this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I finished the fourth row. I have 48 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, chain two. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then into the next three, one, two, and into the next three, one. Let me show you. Beginning into the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now in the next three, make one. In the next, make two. And in the next three, make one. And that's all we're going to do here for this fifth row. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have 60 double crochets. Continue making two, then three, two, three, and so on. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I finished the sixth row. I have 60 double crochets. Now, to finish this fifth row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the sixth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make two, then into the next four, one, two, and into the next four, one. Let me show you. Beginning into the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now, into the next four double crochets, make one. Into the next, make two. And into the next four, make one. And this is how we're going to continue here for this sixth row. Continue, finish this sixth row. At the end, you're going to have 72 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have 72 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now this part here is done. This here is the width of the crown. Here we're going to measure. I mentioned that this here needs to be about five inches, which for me, it's a little bit over five inches, um, which is fine if for some reason with your tension, you only get five rows instead of six, then it's fine. The important thing here is the measurement. Here I decided to add one extra row because if I only did uh, five rows, then it would have been a little too short. It would have been a little bit over four and a half inches and I wanted this to be um, somewhat exact. So now if you're making it for any other size, remember in the information box, I'll leave the measurement here for the width of the crown. So now we're going to continue and start this pattern here so here we're going to chain one and into this same stitch which is the same we joined make a fan so you're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets now skip one two three and into the fourth make a fan Again, skip three, one, two, three, and into the fourth, a fan. Remember that each fan consists of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue all around for this first row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 18 fans to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here's the first fan. On top of the first double crochet of this fan, make a slip stitch. Now into the second double crochet of this fan, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three, and inside the chain space of this fan, make a V stitch. Now into the third double crochet of this same fan, a front post double crochet. Now each one of these fans, this is how you're going to work. Front post double crochet into the second double crochet, a V stitch inside the chain one space, and then a front post double crochet into the third double crochet. And that's how you're going to continue all around. I will meet you at the end of this second row. 
I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 18 fans. To finish, go into the third chain here and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the third row, turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here, we're going to repeat this row of fans, and we're going to make each fan here inside each one of the chain spaces. Here, for this first fan, you're going to make three slip stitches. So, one into the first double crochet, the second one into the second double crochet and the third slip stitch inside the chain space. Now chain three and into this same chain space here, make a double crochet, one chain, two double crochets. So here's the first fan. Now into each one of the chain spaces of each fan, you're going to repeat the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets continue like this to the end of this third row I will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this third row this is where I did the row of fans to finish here we always go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch make sure that you grab both loops here of this chain that way this here doesn't stretch that stitch there now at the end of every row, you're always going to have 18 fans. And like I said, you repeat these two rows. So for the fourth row, we're going to repeat the second row. That's when we turn here and we make a slip stitch into the first double crochet. And then into the second double crochet of this first fan here, you work a front post slip stitch. Then you chain three. Inside the chain space, you make a V stitch and then you make a front post double crochet. And then again, you repeat front post double crochet, V stitch inside the chain space, and then front post double crochet. And that's how you're going to work the remaining fans. When you finish this row, you're going to join here with a slip stitch into the third chain. Then you're going to turn and then repeat exactly what I did in the third row. And that's how we're going to continue here. Now I'm going to do this until this part here measures about, let's see, the total length needs to be about six inches. So I'm going to continue here for about, I don't know, for another inch or so, because I'm going to make this last inch here into my brim. Continue watching, I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do here for this part. Now, if you're making this for any other size, just leave about, I don't know, 0.75 of an inch to an inch from the total height so that you can work the brim. Continue watching, I will let you know um, how many rows this is here for me. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. To finish, I'm just going to go here into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now, this part here is done as it is. It's measuring about five inches, which is about 12.5 centimeters. So I'm going to leave about an inch here for the brim. If you're making this in any other size, just leave about an inch or so from the total height for your brim. Now for the seventh row, I'm going to chain two. And into this same space here, make a half double crochet. These two chains here counts as the first half double crochet. So here I have two half double crochets. Inside each one of the chain spaces of each fan, make two half double crochets. And in the middle between the fans, make two half double crochets. Again, two half double crochets into the chain space of the fan. And then in the middle between the fans, two half double crochets. Continue like this all around. I will meet you at the end. I finished the seventh row. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. I have a total of 72 half double crochets all around. Now here to continue, I'm going to change to this white yarn here. If you're not changing, it's okay, just chain one. So here I'm going to join to the two chains again, grab a loop here and chain one. Now here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet. So beginning here where we have the two chains, I'm going to work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows nine and 10, this is what we're going to do. 
I'm going to chain one and here we're just going to work these stitches in the same way. This first stitch is a front post half double crochet, so make a front post half double crochet. The next row back post half double crochet, the next stitch front post half double crochet, the next stitch back post half double crochet, and so on. So continue and finish this ninth row and then repeat the same thing for the 10th row. I will meet you at the end of that 10th row. I finished making this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and the brim is done. I did a total of three rows, two rows of front post and back post half double crochets, plus the first row that we did of half double crochets. And here's the finished little hat. Now here I just sewed in this little bow. You can look on YouTube how to make bows and lots of tutorials will come up, which is what I did. Or you can add a little pom-pom. Now let me try this little hat on one of my little models here. Now her head size here is for a three to six month size hat. And look how perfect that fits on her. Now remember you can make this hat for any size, any age using the measurements that I I'm going to leave in the information box below. You can use any yarn weight with any hook size and just follow the tutorial and you'll easily make your hat for any size, any age. Okay, so that's how it looks. So now we have completed this little set with the little cardigan sweater that I just showed you as well. Here it is. Look how beautiful that looks with the matching little hat and the little blanket here, this one. In the information box you'll find the tutorial now let me give you the finished measurement here of the little jacket from the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 25 centimeters which is about 10 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 15.5 centimeters which is about six inches now the width of the sleeve here just the top it's measuring about 8.5 centimeters, which is about 3.5 inches. Now, this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 11.5 centimeters, which is about 4.5 inches total length from the top of the neckline to the end here. It's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 23 centimeters, which is about nine inches. So based on these measurements, this little cardigan sweater is for baby boys and and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to 12 months. In the information box below, I'll leave some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now these buttons here, I think I forgot to mention this, these are 13 millimeter size. You can certainly use 11, 12, or even 13 millimeter, which is what I did here. And I only added three because that's all I had, but you can certainly add more. So. This little jacket and the matching little hat is done to match the baby blanket that I already showed you. Okay, so comment below and let me know what you think. This was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.